Hello, my name is Blair and welcome to another Linux app. Today we're gonna install the Ventoy right here in my KDE Linux. And of course, this is the latest KDE, which is the KDE Neon Plasma 6. And of course, I also have my USB right here, which is the latest. USB 3.2 with only like 128 gigabytes of storage space and this is gonna be powering my Ventoy for the new version and of course they uh, put the indication right here which is the USB 3.2 so let's go to Ventoy.net so let's look for the ISO right here or the Ventoy for Linux. So we're going to talk about this Ventoy, the bootable USB solution for all of your ISO files that you are trying to install, either it's from Linux or BSD or Windows. And of course, this kind of Linux app is now cross overing to different types of platform including windows and mac os but of course i'll just gonna focus on on how to use in linux as i always test different types of operating system right here in our distros and our os and of course this is the best solution if you have a lot of files that you could like store especially if you have different types of ISO file that you are trying to put it into your USB bootable instead of like every ISO file or image file that you are trying to create a bootable USB but if you have the Ventoy you have the power of multiple ISO files installed into one USB drive. This is 100% open source, so that's why you have the license right here, which is basically supported all the time right here in Linux. But of course, Windows is just popular, so we include that one. And basically, this is a Linux app. As you can see right here in our example, right here in Ventoy.net, you have the Arch, you have the CentOS, you have the Cloud Ready, Deep In Desktop, you also have the FreeBSD, Ubuntu, and of course, we also have the Windows. So if you have some question, of course, just feel free to discuss right here in the forum at the same time you can send your email at admin at ventoy.net and join in the QQ group which is a Chinese chat room this is actually from the dip in so if you're running dip in desktop community OS so you can also drop at dipin.org so we're gonna download the ventoy that is for Linux this is our Ventoy for Linux with the file tar.gz and of course we also have the Windows with the zip file and the ISO file for anything else. So let me see if it's already okay. So we have all those stuff right here. So let's open that one. As you can see, let's open our Ventoy. So we have our folder right here so let's click cd or change directory and ventoy dash one dot zero dot nine nine and then click enter and you could always check into the lists right here so you have all the list we can use the sh by clicking the ventoy to dist sudo and of course the dot slash ventoy web dot sh and then click that one password don't forget that one and we have our open link so we have the link right now so we need to put our of course our usb right here i have my extension right here so let's enter this one and 
install so let's click this one lost everything I really don't need that one and then now we have our Ventoy it is ready to go so everything is all set right now with our USB right here so we could like uh, put all those information there right now because I need to transfer this old Ventoy file into my new Ventoy bootable USB so I'll put my new right here and my old Ventoy I'll cut and paste on the other side it will take time no problem with that one let's wait until everything is loaded into our new USB bootable Ventoy so okay we have our file loaded right now right here in our Ventoy of course I gonna I'll let you see so this is my new Ventoy and this is my old Ventoy so I could like uh, restore this as a normal USB not the bootable USB so I have to remove this one so I just gonna unplug this one and of course I have my another old Ventoy right here I mark it right here so I need to check this one out too so if I could like put it only in just one Ventoy USB so I have to put it alright so we have this one so I have Windows right here plus my big Linux plus add Ubuntu KDE and of course my KDE Neon right here and together with my Fedora so I have to just cut it and then put it right here in my new Ventoy it is a 128 gigabytes of storage space for my ISO files okay we have now transferred all of our new Ventoy USB so we could now remove this one also this one so now we have our new Ventoy USB bootable drive. So if you have some questions, feel free to ask me. Write it in the comments down below. I'm Blair, your computer science teacher right here in Konkan University, a demonstration school for international division. Bye for now and see you in the next episode. Ciao.